<laughs> yeah, basically it's a new feature of InDesign, um, so I'm not giving away a whole lot. Uh, but don't worry, you're not going to get a lot more out of me from InDesign because you're not going to see a whole lot. So if you're curious about the other features, you can ask Michael Minnis, uh, the product manager for InDesign. Alright. So I'm just going to open the tool. And just like just like pretty much any InDesign uh, project, you guys familiar with InDesign is from a page layout perspective? Right? Um, Alright, let's see if I can open this file. Come on. Right. So I'm just going to open an InDesign document. Now, obviously, InDesign is very useful for what kind of things? Page layout, right? Magazines, newspapers, like, you know, large page layout, which are, which is, it's, it's a great product to do that kind of thing. Not the kind of thing Flash does really well. You're not going to create an entire layout in, in Flash. Um, but InDesign is actually really good at this. So let me just show you real quickly kind of what, what this looks like. So we have this page layout, and you can see it's multi-page, and if someone said something else, it's going to be the cover of a magazine. Let's say I wanted to get this, I wanted to get this into Flash today. In order to get this into Flash today, what do you do? Export it to what if, you know, you have to find some way of exporting it to some graphics or a PDF or everybody has a different workflow. Because there's not really one one way that works best, you know. We can't go straight to Flash. Now, InDesign does have something called export to Swift. But it doesn't let you go back into Flash and edit it. So, so let me show you what, what we have in mind. What, what we're talking about is being able to basically go to export. 